Hello everyone. What you're looking at here is a 42 inch Hampton Bay Littleton made by SMC in white. It is located in my cousin's bedroom down in Corvallis. This fan uses a 131 millimeter motor, has a four blade only motor. has a integrated schoolhouse light kit, but it actually is not original, the, it has a round glow. It has a three-speed full chain, and it's electrically reversible. It's also a hugger fan. So yeah, let's go ahead and give you the close-ups. It's got the bleached oak blades reversible to what it used to be white, now just painted with green and black. Supposedly a kid's room at one point. Hug them out. There's there's some pins up here. That hold the motor housing in place. Flimsy, flimsy metal material. It's like sticky pop metal. Here's the top. Here's the other one. There's this mounting bracket. Motor housing. I'm gonna turn the flashlight on to see if you can see. Motor. Pretty dirty, but yeah, pretty crappy fan. Uh, yeah. Now we'll go ahead and demonstrate fan start off the light. It has a one mean base light bulb in it. It is, I think, I believe, incandescent. There's the closet. In my cousin's room has one <laughs> Okay, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the fans starting off with low Plastic pull chains Blades are MDF by the way Well Glass <sighs> One's a pretty slow bugger Sometimes it does get stuck when you turn it on from the switch. Worst buzzing noise I've ever experienced with this. That's about below. Here's medium. It's, here's the buzzy noise. Don't feel a lot of good air moving from this other crap fan. Typical SMC bearing noise. There we go.
that's about for medium of high speed. Fan is out of crap. Doesn't blow a lot of air. Has some bear noises. Let me see a little bit of a hole. This fan. It's really not the higher end fans. It's one of the Panabase flagship fans. Only a little it might be. Not noticeable on camera, I don't think so, for the waffle. I'll go ahead and shut off and we'll do a spin down. It's gonna be pretty quick. And this quick stop. Stop right. Uh, it's not like going to be a DC motor or a Honda Norden or whatever. It reminds me I should do a remake of the Norden. <sighs> I'm really busy a, a lot. I've been trying to focus on looking for higher end fans. I'm trying to look for an Everson or a, and a Fanimation fan. I'm trying to look for a 2 amp American made original. It has nothing to do with this video, so yeah, it's pretty sure it's been down, not like. Sort of quick like the CRS I have. Let's go ahead and reverse the fan. Start off low in reverse. Let's go for low and reverse, now let's do medium reverse. the bear noise again. Crap. Trashy bearings.
that's about for medium and reverse now let's do high and reverse there's the bearing noise again pretty typical SMC fans that have that utterly crap bearing noise new ones to say the least Go ahead and turn it off and do spin down. <sighs> Thank God the noise went away when I turned it off. Fan needs to be replaced desperately. I'm wanting to find a perfect fan to replace this other crap. Walking well, preferably for stuff in Sherman, but I want to put that again. <laughs> It's not my fan. Now I'm gonna shut it off. But before I end this video, let me go ahead and put the fan to low. I'll show you what I mean by stall. Oh. Yeah. It did stall earlier, but I will post that. I'll show you what I mean this time. Pretty slow on low. Look at that. Pretty slow on low speed. So I'll push the. That's why I have to push the blade to get it work. It'll run right. Do, do the same thing for reverse. Switch off. So the low reverse. Pretty slow. I think. It's pretty slow. No bugger. That's why I have to push the blades to get it to run properly on low. Stupid bearing noise. I'm not swearing the video because I'm trying not to do so. Alright. So, that's about it with this utter crap 42 inch Hampton Bay Wilton made by SMC. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.